day. I am Mary Rose G. Ungab and my partner is Ken Floyd L. Manuaza and we will present to you our thesis entitled Bathymeter Estimation Using Optical Satellite Images. In this presentation, we will discuss the introduction where a short background of the study will be discussed, the statement of the study, the objective of the study, the significance of the study, and the map of the study area. Also, the methodology will be discussed as well as its calibration of the satellite derived bathymetry, the validation of the satellite derived bathymetry, and its generation of the bathymetry. As well as the result and discussion will be discussed and its conclusion. To start, what is bathymetry? So bathymetry is the measurement of the water depth from the waterbed to the water surface, where it defines the underwater topography of the water bodies. Bathymetry excels in the importance of the making of the nautical charts, where these nautical charts are very important for the seafarers in the navigation in the water bodies. Also, it also excels in the water volume computation, in the pollution control, in the mineral and fish industries, harbor and docks and constructions, and maintenance. Also, in the underwater engineering constructions. In gathering bathymetry data, there are conventional ways such as single beam echo sounder or SBES, multi beam echo sounder or MBES, where it records the time taken by the sound waves to return to the sensor upon it reach the target, and the remote sensing techniques that were developed, like the airborne lidar bathymetry or the ELB, and the satellite derived bathymetry or the STB, where it uses the optical satellite images. Satellite-derived bathymetry is the most recently developed method of surveying shallow waters. In contrast to other survey methods, it requires no mobilization of persons or equipment. It also provides a rapid access to bathymetric data and its same cost. Satellite-derived bathymetry is a remote sensing research utilizes ocean optics to estimate near shore bathymetry elevation values using satellite images. <coughs> Some of the remote sensing basic techniques are the LiDAR or the light detection and ranging, the satellite altimetry data, the synthetic aperture radar, and the optical satellite images where uh, some of its examples are Landsat, Worldview, Planet Scope, and Sentinel. The Statement of the Problem The time consuming process and costly approach on gathering bathymetric data. Also, in taking advantage of the potential of the available satellite images in deriving good bathymetric data on a less expensive approach. <coughs> there is still a need to conduct most specifically the coastal area in Caraga region to assess the performance of the bathymetric data gathering and its estimation. The objective of the study. The main objective of the study is to estimate the bathymetry in the coastal area of San Agustin using the optical satellite images. Also, it aims to calibrate and validate the satellite derived bathymetry using the in situ measurements of the water depth. Lastly, it aims to generate a satellite derived bathymetry or the STB model of the study area utilizing the Landsat 8 image empirically using the lens linear band model by Lysenga. Significance of the study The result of the study would be able to help and assist the researchers that are primarily concerned with the understanding the coastal environment to determine the ability of the freely available satellite images like the Landsat 8 image using the linear band model by Lysenga in Mapping bathymetry in the coastal area of San Agustin, Surigao City. Also, the bathymetric information could be used by the Bureau of Fisheries and Aquatic Resources or the B4 for the guidance in the development and improvement and management and lastly, conversion of the habitat of the marine life. Also, through the generated bathymetry models, nautical charts could be created. Fishermen and mariners would be able to be guided for the safe transportation and avoid possible hazards. The map of the study area. So, so this study 
will focus on the coastal area of San Agustin Surigal del Sur, where this coastal area is located at the eastern part of the coast of the Mindanao Island. And this coastal area is famous for its white beaches and multiple island called the Britannia Group of Islands. Methodology. This is the outline of the methodology. The methodological flowchart, data collection, coastline delineation using NDWI thresholding, generation of calibration and validation points, linear regression, bathymetry estimation, and generation of satellite-derived bathymetry. This is the flowchart of the methodology. It starts with the data collection, creation of bathymetry models, assessment of the accuracy of the models, and generation of the satellite-derived bathymetry. Freely available Landsat 8 satellite image was used in this study. The image was already pre-processed as they belong to the Landsat collection to level 2 science products which provide surface reflectance and surface temperature values. The downloaded image was ensured to be the same year as the in situ data were acquired which was in 2016. The Landsat 8 has 11 bonds with a spatial resolution of 15, 30, and 100 meters. This is the whole Landsat 8 image and the subset area of San Agustin shown in true color. In situ, bathymetry data was acquired by a single beam echo sounder in March 2016 as part of the project by CSU Phil LiDAR 1. The in situ data is so dense, so it was randomly generated in which points were ensured to be 30 meters away from each other. And from there, new randomly generated points, 60% for calibration and 40% for validation points were derived. From a total of 30,293 points, it became to 1,531 points with a depth range from 1.33 to 22.87 meters at mean sea level. The normalized difference water index thresholding was performed to automate the delineation of the coastline. This is the image which shows the result of NDWI thresholding. So linear band model by Lazenga was used in the study to estimate the bathymetry of San Agustin. The formula is shown here. Z is equal to A sub 0 plus summation of I to N of A sub I times X sub I, where Z is the water depth, X sub I is equal to the natural logarithm of R sub I minus R sub DPI, where R sub I is the observed reflectance in each bond, and R sub DPI is the reflectance of dark water pixels. A sub 0 and A sub I are the regression coefficients from the relation between the measured depths and the bonds reflectance based on least square error. N is equal to the number of spectral bonds that contributes in the linear regression. The R sub DPI or the reflectance of the dark water pixels are values of the reflectance of the pixels that presume to be the deep parts of the coastal area where light cannot penetrate anymore in the water column. 200 points of the dark water pixels were created and the average was used as R sub DPI. The accuracy of the derived satellite bathymetry was assessed through the analysis of the statistical errors using the formula shown, which are the bias, the root mean square error, mean absolute error, and the Pearson's correlation. Results and discussions. Raster values or surface reflectance values of the points are extracted. Four bands were used, coastal aerosol, blue, green, and red bands. From these four bands, a total of 15 combinations of bands were created. This table shows the regression coefficients obtained from regression analysis performed using SPSS software. The highest R-squared obtained based on the table shown is the combination of the four bonds, which can be concluded that all the four bonds contributed to the regression. From the regression coefficients obtained, the model equations were then created, which will be used to predict or estimate the bathymetry. These are the scatter plots of the 15 combination of bonds that show the linear relationship of the predicted values with respect to the measured values. This is a scatter plot for using single bonds. These are the scatter plots for using the combination of two bonds. These are for the combination of three bonds, and the last scatter plot shown is for the combination of four bonds. This is the graph that summarizes the accuracy of the 15 models. It can be seen that model 15 or the combination of the four bonds has the highest accuracy obtained in terms of RMSE, bias, and mean absolute error. The root mean square error obtained for the combination of four bands is 1.4456 meters. The model equation of the highest accuracy obtained was used to generate the satellite derived bathymetry of San Agustin. And this is the derived satellite bathymetry map of San Agustin. So, conclusions. 
The bathymetry of San Agustin was generated using the Landsat 8 satellite image from the calibration and validation using the in-situ bathymetry data. Satellite-derived bathymetry was generated using the model equation that obtained the highest accuracy. Thank you for your attention.